we are only just beginning to understand the extent to which fungi supports life on the planet. The fossil record is showing us that fungi was one of the original complex life forms. Green algae left the water to colonise the land more than 500 million years ago. It was the fine hypha of the fungi mycelium that helped plants extract enough water and nutrients from the soil to feed their leaves and keep photosynthesis running. This relationship between plants and fungi supported the growth of large trees and for the first time forests expanded across the planet. But at this time there was no organism to break down the cellulose and lignin in the wood. So when plants and trees died, they formed the carbon layers that became the coal seams we dig up today. Then fungi developed a way to break down lignin and cellulose and convert it to carbohydrates, food for other organisms like plants and animals. This is why we don't live in a world that is one huge dead wood pile. On the planet today, fungi drive many critical processes. They help the forest grow. They feed the trees with nutrients and keep the forest healthy. And they contribute to the nutrition and livelihoods of local communities. In the Mekong region of Asia, the Kunming Institute of Botany and the World Agroforestry Centre have joined forces to study fungi. The way they interact with the forest and the way they contribute towards the lives of the people associated with these forest systems. The Mekong region includes areas of southwest China, Laos, Thailand and Myanmar. It runs from the Tibetan Plateau through temperate forests and down into tropical rainforests in the south. These mountain ecosystems are biodiversity hotspots and possibly some of the most diverse regions on the planet for mushrooms. What sort of mushroom are these? Uh, they are uh, Amanita hemibafa. Currently about 3,000 mushroom species have been described in this region. Local communities use about a third of those species to not only feed their families, but also for medicine and trade. Most of our fungi field trips reveal previously undocumented mushrooms. With this high diversity of new species, research is very important. It's critical to understand how mushrooms and fungi function within an ecosystem, linking the processes below the ground with the above ground systems. The vision of the Kunming Institute of Botany and the World Agroforestry Centre is to then apply this research. We train and educate local communities in wild harvesting and cultivation and in the business of trading mushrooms. Our work has been endorsed by the Mountain Futures Initiative. This is an international effort to find and support new projects that can improve the lives of mountain-based communities and safeguard their environments. The vision is to plant the seeds of brighter, more sustainable futures. Throughout the mountains of South America, Africa and Asia, this initiative aims to bring traditional knowledge and scientific research together. Local communities often have valuable knowledge about their environment, but this can be isolated and incomplete. To combat this, we've set up the Southeast Asian Fungal Network. Together, we're helping communities and researchers share information on how to identify and domesticate fungi. Assisting these communities to tap into this underused resource could also help conserve natural forests. This is where many prized species of fungi can be found. Over the last five years, 20% of the species we've collected are new to science. 
but we're fast losing forest cover. In fact, we don't even know how many undiscovered species have already been lost to the world as we disturb and destroy natural forests. This research has never been more critical.